So many of you might be doing this already, farming currency for Juma bags. What do I mean by that? Well, since right now we have times two legacy campaigns, this means we get twice as much currency from all of those legacy campaigns, including Descent into Avernus. And that means you get twice as many of these chaotic writings. And what you can do is spend those chaotic writings at a little store, a little vendor who's a quasit called Juma. And here you can buy his Juma surprise bags. And those can contain like a variety of common goods and a chance at like a vanity pad or a piece of, of level 20 gear. And you can see the certain drops and mainly what you're after is those different companions and mounts. You can get some other decent rewards with it as well, even a coalescent moat. And you can see all the drop rates there back from when I tested last year. Now with module 25, there's a bunch of changes coming and we'll cover that. And it's actually a little bit shocking. But first, like, how do you get more Juma bags? Well, you get the currency, the writings. And the easiest way to get that is through heroic encounters and specifically insurgencies. You're going to have to do a few quests in this zone to unlock insurgencies. But once you do, you need to wait on the map just to appear in the top right. Once Rage of Bell is over, then you have one hour cooldown and then insurgencies start again. And you'll head through this portal just here where you'll fight a bunch of enemies and then get basically 200 of those chaotic writings which is the equivalent of two juma bags and then you will go on and be able to do the next insurgency all the way until the bar is filled up and then rage of bell activates and again basically you'll buy these juma bags from this guy and you have a chance at some rewards for example some of the best companions and right now we don't really know what will be the best companion so having just juma bags even giving you like 20 companion upgrade tokens it's good because they give you those different mounts and companions like we got this mount just here just be aware everything is usually bound now checking on the preview server where we have the preview of module 25 we go to valenhas and yeah we can go and check where where's Juma and uh well it looks like he escaped he's gone he can no longer give you any surprise bags so it's very important if you want to get any Juma bags make sure you're doing it now within this week of times two legacy campaigns spend all of what you grind on those Juma bags now as when module 25 comes about you'll have not much else to spend those chaotic writings yeah the store here will just give you the ability to get these items and some lionheart gear which are not particularly special and yeah as you may have seen in my just recent video on siege of neverwinter and otherwise you can spend genie gifts for now the center to Avernus was actually a new thing but it won't give you any chaotic writings and again Juma is gone gone he's gone to the new zone you can see he's now in the whispering post which is the module 25 men's Branzen hub area he's right here you'll be spending this currency which is kind of precious to me right now because it takes me a lot of time to get on these new juma surprise bags and the tooltips also different you can see it right there now it says it contains a variety of common goods and a chance at one of the following a rare gear a companion a mount and vanity items so hopefully they've increased the drop rates from like this and uh yeah because the you can't get as much of them and they won't be as easily farmable not like it is right now with valenhas and all that with regards to easily getting those chaotic writings so again make sure spend those chaotic writings now get the juma bags you want now i don't know yet what the new juma or this guy over here is going to drop us yet so you basically have your last chance at easy farming valenhas for Juma bags up until module 25 because on the calendar module 25 is coming around March there won't be another times two like descent to Avernus and so yeah you won't have that which means the time is now to farm Juma bags if you wanted to and spend that currency now personally I don't see why they're removing Juma from Valenas like uh, why I guess maybe story but there's plenty of areas where there's duplicates of like Sergeant Knox, he's in Dread Ring, he's in Protector's Enclave, in other places as well. And yeah, anyway, why can't Juma be in multiple different zones too? 
just leave him there. It's fine, right? I don't know. Maybe they just want to stop it or they want to shake it up. But who knows? Massive thank you again to all of these channel members. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.